Well, hello everybody. It's Brad. And I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead. And today, we're cheesy. No, honey. We're cheesy every day. We are cheesy <laughs> just about every day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Making mozzarella cheese. And I'll tell you what. Here's the thing. We have been on this mission to learn how to make and do just as much as we can without having to go to the grocery store. And Mama has figured out some of the most amazing bread recipes and we now have switched kind of gears into dairy. Now that we've made a lot of goody, goody, goodies. Well, I can make yogurt uh, with some good, some that's pretty not, good efficiency. Bread, huh? Well, yeah, but you said we're moving into dairy. I thought you were going to talk about bakery. No. We're, we're going to talk about, about dairy cheese. now. We're talking about dairy. We're going to talk about dairy now. Let's get cheesy. Anyway. So you make yogurt. So I can make yogurt. <laughs> and I uh, can make a pretty good... Um, Soft cheese, farm not cheese. it's a farm cheese, but yeah. it's not used with it's not made with vinegar. I don't I don't care for that flavor in my cheese, so I use rennet and um, um, uh, culture. Sorry, I'm trying to think of what I was gonna well, say. Well, goat cheese you mm -hmm. rock at. We just don't yeah, have a goat. I don't right have now. any goats, um, so I make my farm cheese soft cheese very similar to the way I made goat cheese. Well, and here's it's the sorry, pretty darn tasty. Go ahead. So, but I have yet to make a successful mozzarella he's got the struggle mm -hmm. and 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 a few days ago i broke through yeah that ceiling of cheese he just went and did it i went and did it without uh, without talking to me say hey you want to learn how to do this no. no he just went ahead and did it and here's why <laughs> because years ago you okay. gave up you, i did you failed a couple times i did and you're like i don't want to do get it it's cheap enough i'll just buy it well, and the problem was that we didn't have a cow when you first started trying to do that. And then it gets really expensive. Yeah, you're like, well, geez, there's two gallons every time. Mm -hmm. And of course, she had that. So right. it gets yeah. expensive. It's expensive. And then you're wasting a lot of it because... You're just dumping out two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Gallons of milk. You're dumping the whey after you... Yeah, right. So it kind of got... Let's put it nicely. Put on the sideline. No, I quit doing it. Come on. And then the other spade day, is a spade. All right, a spade is a spade. Then, <laughs> then what happened was, a couple days ago, I was like, you know what? I've been watching all these videos on mozzarella cheese, and it really doesn't look that, that hard. And I swear, says him, it doesn't look that hard. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if that's supposed to be a compliment or a, a derogatory. I can't tell. Maybe a little of each. No, not really. It is a compliment because. You did it. You rocked it, and well, I cannot. I saw a, I saw opportunity. The golden door of milk fridge opened, and it was like, oh, you must make mozzarella. And you know why? Because we're pizza snobs, mm -hmm. and I don't like buying the cheese from the store because you need the right kind of mozzarella to get the right kind of melt to get the right kind of taste. Mm. And exactly, mm. and the right kind of. Mm. Mm. And that's what happens when you take a bite of pizza that is ridiculous. You go, mm. Mm. and there's a little happy dance that goes on. Little jumping yeah. around. Yeah. Jump up, jump up, and get down. <laughs> so I just looked at a bunch of videos. I looked at a bunch of recipes, and I was like, that lines up. That lines up. All these things. There's extra stuff that people do that is not necessary. Side note, he's never made cheese before. So it's easy. Never made cheese before it's easy yeah it's easy i show you it's easy. so i show you what we're going to do today is a little bit different mama is going to be the hands in the pot and i'm going to instruct this is going to go well so it's good thing I, you all are watching so if i do a good job and she does a good job then we will have cheese then you, then you taught correctly and i listened correctly there's but that's a two-way street exactly that is a two-way street <laughs> So, folks, if you're watching just to watch mozzarella making, you can probably see that we're a little silly. I did put up screens. We're going to have uh, an ingredient screen, a recipe kind of thing. And then there's going to be steps. So, if you want to just skip through the steps, you can skip through the steps. And that way, it, okay, if you start from scratch and you've got your utensils out mm -hmm. and you've got your, your milk out mm -hmm. and it's like lukewarmish. Mm -hmm. This should take you, honestly, no more than 25, 30 minutes is all it took me. Of course, the truth is I did not wash the dishes afterwards. No, he didn't. I was like, do you guys like the cheese? 
great. The dishes are downstairs. <laughs> yeah. 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 Go downstairs. Oh, there's a All right, sink so full of dishes. Let's get busy. Are you okay, here's the real question. <laughs> are you ready to take instruction or not? Because I gotta be honest, this is not gonna work. I need to roll my sleeves up for this. Because <laughs> we're getting thick in here. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so what about bit. it you ready yeah give me a second let me roll up my sleeves what could possibly go wrong right exactly okay. well, exactly let me, let me call up uh, let me call up the ingredients the recipe first okay so honestly you're really talking about rennet citric acid and milk oh and water that no but that's salt. but you don't count those as ingredients because the water's not That's essential. The water's not essential, and the salt is optional. Well, actually, kind of is because you have to dissolve the citric acid. That's the lady who doesn't know how to make cheese. I don't know how to make mozzarella, but I do have some knowledge on how cheese is made. She's not going to take instruction. I am. I know it. The I water it. is an, an an essential ingredient because you have to dissolve the water or the citric acid. And you have to uh, dissolve or uh, dilute the rennet. You can. Yes, I know. You can. I know. Non essential. But salt, salt is not in, that's not an ingredient, that's a flavoring. Well, no, time out though. Because some cheeses, you have to have the salt because that stops the culturing process. But some, I didn't I say some We're talking about mozzarella cheese, cheese recipes. So we're talking about mozzarella cheese. She's not gonna take instruction. I, I will can just I feel will. It. Yeah, I, can I, feel I it. will. I can feel it. So okay. It's ought to be fun. Buckle up, Sally. Isn't it already? You might want to take your watch yeah. off since you're rolling oh, yeah. up your sleeves. That is true. You're gonna dunk the nice eye watch right into the milk. <laughs> okay. So here's the here's the scoop, guys. Honestly, basic ingredients. We're gonna start with one gallon of milk, you're going to have one teaspoon, one half teaspoon, sorry, of, um, oh, I put that on the screen funny. It's, yeah, it's one and a half teaspoons of citric acid and then one quarter teaspoon of rennet. Now, she is correct in mozzarella that you're going to want to dissolve those in water and is as shown on the screen. So the very first thing you want to do is get your milk going. Okay. And you're going to bring it up to, drum roll. And what heat? What high medium. medium heat? Medium. Medium heat, and we're gonna bring it up to what temperature? One or no ninety. <laughs> ninety. You almost tripped me up. One ninety. No, oh not boy. 90. ninety. <laughs> and 90. this this milk is fresh from our cow um, as of a couple of days ago. So. So, but while that's heating up, you're gonna go ahead and put your uh, rennet in the water. Yep. You're gonna put your rennet in that quarter cup of water. Okay. And they can't really see that. And too how much well. rennet? One quarter Oops. teaspoon of rennet, which is liquid for us. Yes. We use the liquid animal rennet. Yes. Um, we do not use vegetable rennet, which I'm sure you can, but we prefer the. Yeah, we kind of feel like if it if it's an animal product, use animal rennet. If it's a vegetable product, then whatever. We just don't do it. Yeah. So one quarter teaspoon of liquid into one quarter cup. Now, some okay. people will have tablets of rennet, and that's right. fine, but you just got to wait make sure that it's completely dissolved, okay? Yeah. Okay. Now, you're going to put your one and a half teaspoons of citric acid into one cup of water, and you're going to get that stirring up and dissolve. Okay. Now, I and did I the put milk. the rennet back in the refrigerator because it is supposed to stay cold. cold. So, one and a half teaspoons. Yes, ma'am. And another word while mama's doing that is you generally want to keep this milk moving. And the reason why is the distribution of heat. Because you don't want pockets at any given moment to get all the rennet or all the citric acid or the fat to coagulate at different temperatures. And it's almost, it's hard. That's why you want to use like a slotted spoon, keep mm -hmm. things moving. But... Now, Mama, is, believe it or not, while this is heating up, is when you put the citric acid in. Okay. Do we need to turn off the heat? Not until it gets to 80. 90. Oh, that's right. Please I'm, put the citric acid I'm, in. It's coming up quick. We're already at 86. See? Put it in there. Let's stir it in. Because what happens when it gets to 90, guys, is we need to take it, take it off the heat and cover it. Oh, I forgot the lid. Wait a sec. Oh, that's important, actually. Because then we put in our rennet. 
So you need to get the lid, okay. baby. Grab the lid, because that, once it gets to 90, you're gonna pull it from the heat. You're gonna stir in the rent for 30 seconds. This is actually pretty quick stuff, guys. Let's see. Oh, she kicked the thermometer out. Okay. okay, hold on, let's verify we're at 86, 88, 88 gigawatts. Okay, you want 29 and okay, you're gonna actually remove it from the heat right now. Okay, now pull it off. Okay, not you don't cover yet. You gotta stir in your rennet and count to 30. Slowly stir in the rennet, count to 30. Now I'll go back to the screens. Okay. Now you got the rennet in there. Have you what number are you at? Nine. Ten. Okay. All right. Let's see. While well, she's counting, hello, James, Facts Matter, Sally H, Steve, good night. Paul, uh, good morning to William and Laura and everybody else. Boar, I can't catch all the names. Okay. Thirty. Okay. Now, cover it up and get a timer going for five to six minutes. I waited six <laughs> minutes. Just look at the clock. That's okay. Okay. So while we're doing that, so five to six minutes, then our next step after that is there, just so you have a, a good idea what's going on, mm -hmm. is you're literally going to cut the curds. Cut the curds. Okay. Cut the curds. Five minutes. So what do you want to talk about for five minutes? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is there anything new happening? New and pressing. Are there any questions? Route 66 says howdy. Let's see. Howdy. Boots and Bounty says y'all are so fun. Oh, Thank she's you. not talking. Okay. I, I saw the, do you ever go to Red State Park? I don't know but, about that one. Well, she, Sally wasn't asking us. Okay. Well, just so you're aware, the next mm -hmm. step is we're going to cut the curds. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to put it back on the heat and we're gently going to stir it while it heats up to 105. Okay. So don't move it now. No, no, I you wasn't. Just leave it. I, I was just don't even. I was. I, I look was at. Just moving stuff. It cannot be looked at. It's just moving stuff. <laughs> it cannot be looked at. Never looked at. Do I need hey, the spoon anymore? Leafka. Yes, I do need the you spoon. You need the spoon. And I need and the you thermometer. Need the, you need the nice straight I, thingy too. Yes, this is a uh, cake icer, but I thought that this would be it a good thing perfect. to cut the curds because it's tall enough. Um, that's the thing. You can use a long knife. Um, but it has to be long enough to get all the way to the bottom. They're like, they're like that deep. Right. You have to get all the way to the bottom. Don't taunt the cheese. Ready? Don't taunt the cheese. Oops. You do that. Don't taunt the cheese. I'm not taunting the cheese. You it mocked it. I... <laughs> She's a cheese mocker. Weeping. Well, the wireless is still on, chickens. so don't... Uh... I'm going to go watch the chickens. <laughs> they're all you. scratching out in the they're garden. They're right out there. Yeah. <laughs> The chickens have absolutely loved being outside. Hey, Cara from Lakeland, Florida. Hey, I Cara. grew up in Lakeland, Florida. Mm -hmm. I went to, to uh, Lakeland Senior High School while it was still the home of the fighting dreadnoughts. I wonder if it is. Is it no, not it anymore? Was, it's a magnet school. Oh, well, that's but good. How about that for a mascot? A battleship. Dreadnought. The that's dreadnoughts. It was right. really sweet. Okay, Tina's asking, where can we buy the rennet? Um, I purchase it from uh, the New England Cheese Making Company. Um, we don't make anything off them. So we don't make just, anything yeah. off of this at all. I've bought it there. I've also bought it at culturesforhealth.com. Amazon too. It, yes, you can get it on Amazon. Um, I just, I find that, well, I don't find this, but I assume that if it comes straight from those companies, as opposed through Amazon, then it's going to be fresher. It's not on the shelves as long. Right. I mean, and rennet has to be refrigerated. Well, and here's a little secret. When I made the cheese the other day, I just used what we had on our shelves. And <laughs> Krista told me afterwards, she goes, hey, guess what? The rennet you used was two years old, out expired. Yeah. It's, it's, and it still it's works. It's expired. It still works. Um, so don't worry if your rennet is expired. It should still work. As long as you've kept it in a refrigeration. Right. You cannot, however, you cannot freeze rennet. No. It, it kills the enzymes. Work. Yeah. That's correct. And I don't know if anybody knows this, but does anybody know where rennet comes from? 
Ooh, it's gross. It's really gross. If it's an animal, if it's animal rennet. It's, if it's animal, I don't know where uh, vegetable rennet comes from, but I know animal rennet comes from, let's see if anybody said. No, not yet. No. Um, it comes from the stomach of calves or baby goats or lambs. And you gotta wonder, who the heck figured that out and why? But like, you know what? I bet there's something tasty in there. Well, okay. Back in biblical times, they they used the stomach to store wine, right? True. They used so maybe organs. they were transporting um, milk in the same kind of skins, the 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 stomachs, and it then it curdled and made this awesomeness. And they thought, oh, this sounds great. Maybe I'll do that. Well, so, there you have it. Yeah. What time we got left, baby? My microphone is clipping out, apparently. I think it's probably, you might be knocking it. Oh. That's okay. Oh. Hang in there, William. We'll Sorry. do our best. We'll do our best. Okay. Yeah, vegetable, <laughs> <laughs> vegetable rennet. Nice. Comes from the stomach of a carrot. Nice. I love it. I do love that. How, how much longer we got? Because we've got to be prepared. 41 Boy. seconds. See, that's a Boy Scout for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, um, just so that they can see it, can you gently slide it back to where we had it? Because if you want gentle moves. All right, now I'm going to go to the close cam and see if it's ready or we got to wait a little bit longer. Does mm -hmm. it look like a gentle tofu -y? It does. It is. Is it? It most certainly is. Hmm. Yep. I, I have... There are things that I've read in cheese making that you can you can go up the side and pull it back. Yep. Yeah, see it, it did. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know now if they can't see that. I'm gonna try to cut to a different can. <laughs> okay, guys. So, okay, you so put next the lid thing back you're on? gonna do, nope, nope. Now you're gonna cut it. You're gonna cut the curds into a grid. Make it's them about like point. an inch, like that. Go okay. all the way, and then cut it in squares. Uh, like yeah, you're gonna okay. cut a big piece of of case. Checkerboard. Yes. Okay. All right. The only problem I don't like is it spins. Mom, don't do that. You just cut. I what? am just. No, no, no. I was just straight. cutting. Next thing I got it spinning. You don't want to spin it. You want I, just to cut. I, See, look, you go like, uh, it's like this. Well, when I cut over well, here, like it spun. That's why. You just try to go gentle, baby. That's what I was doing. Okay, try again. You're doing great, honey. <laughs> Booger. Booger. <laughs> You want, you, you slow down, <laughs> slow down. It's a gentle process. <laughs> I'm being gentle. No, you're not. It's not. There, now, very nice. It's because it's in the middle. When I go very to this nice. side, Just then it, it spins. See, it's spinning and I'm going slow. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez, oh, Pete's, what the, what in the world? You live in Wisconsin. Hang your head in shame, woman. We can't make cheese. I told you this is why I gave up this making mozzarella. <laughs> it's too oh, it's boy. too finicky. No, it is not. If Brad can do it, you you know how to master baking. This is, should be cake. There. She's gonna break our mozzarella. <laughs> All right, now now what you're gonna do is you're going to turn it back on medium heat. And you're going to get ready to get the temperature going. Because what you're going to want, watch. <laughs> watch. Am I going to just spin it around? Just, you just barely get it moving. You want to move it just you're like spinning that. spinning it. You should now do that. We're, now we're supposed to. <laughs> you get it up to 105 degrees. Here, you do the spin. Not fast. Not fast. <laughs> Gentle. Oh. I feel like I'm teaching a kid to drive. <laughs> just ease on the brake. Don't slam on the brake. No, 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 slam on the brake. <laughs> oh, my gracious. Oh, boy. We need 105 degrees? Yes. Am I, am I stirring this gently enough? Yeah, you're, you're doing very good, honey. Now you're going to want to turn on your signal. Turn on your signal. <laughs> that might be a little early. That's okay, though. You can do it better next time. Can't get smacked in a second, you know that, right? With a way, way knife. <laughs> With a way knife. Okay. Hey, Georgiana, thank you. That's very kind of you. From San Antonio, Texas, love the channel. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Go Haines City Hornets from Cara. Okay, yeah, I know where they're. They were a rival of ours. Oh, funny. But like Linda. 
Uh, sorry. <sighs> I was in the band, so you can't blame me. In football. No. <laughs> Where are we at? 99. 99. I got 99. That's in the center. Don't. No, no. It's got, in the center. Well, I got 99 cheese curds. <laughs> but this ain't one yet. <laughs> it's 105 now. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's oh, 102. Sorry. I. I'm literally looking at it. I looked at it. I looked. I looked at it and said, and I saw 101, but thought 105. Okay, people, and you wonder why she struggled with it and gave up. Because I have no patience. And you're like, that's 105. Well, it says 98. That sounds the same thing. <laughs> You've got to follow instruction. I'm trying. All right, get her, get her moving a little bit better. Because I think that maybe the liquid is not there. We go. There, I said 108 and 111 now. Okay. Okay, go ahead and now you're going to take it, take it off the heat again. Okay. Now, here's the trick. We're going to bring that off the heat. Just pull it on off. You got goop on the thermometer. Now, you're just going to gently stir it for about five minutes. With a spoon minutes. or the knife? It's, I used the end of a spoon because I didn't have the fancy schmancy okay. thing like you have. I'll just use this. So now you just spin it. Just, just Spin it or? You're supposed to keep the, the temperature moving. Just gently. Not, no, no. She's going to be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, rowboat. It's done. You said stir it. I said gently stir it. I even said like gently in every slide. Literally every. Oh, my gosh. Oh, big family. My quail are hatching. Cool, James. Oh, cool. That is neat. That is neat. Partyville. I went, where's, Hi, oh, Partyville, not Purdyville. Let's see. Partyville. Where's Close Partyville? Cam. Oh, she's on the one. It's blown out, too. Look at how it bad. white it is. Yeah. Okay. All right. Where are we at? Let me see. Because what it is, is you're wanting to distribute that heat, from what I understand from all of the different ones I watched. Mm -hmm. It's distributing the heat and making sure that the, the, the whey is separating from the curds. I see. Okay. Okay. That's the thing. Uh, I'm reading some stuff. <laughs> oh, Megan. She she showed him some Scarecrow and Tinman songs and some other Christian oh, music. Goodness. And that's all he's been listening to. Well, Megan, I'll tell you what. You email me at info at bigfamilyhomestead.com and I will mail you for your son two free CDs of another band I've been called Cheer Up Charlie as a gift. So email me yeah. and I'll send you a link, okay? Info.bigfamilyhomestead at gmail.com. So, happy birthday in advance. Okay, so are we, you think we're close to five minutes? What do you think? I don't know. I wasn't supposed, to, was I supposed to watch the time? I kind of gave you the instruction. Oh, I was more concerned with spinning it gently. Than a rowboat. <laughs> I got it. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> okay um yeah i don't know has it been five minutes folks <laughs> we're gonna call it five minutes hey there's heather hey heather <laughs> krista is being a uh, stubborn krista and not listening to instruction friend of krista heather she doesn't know anything like i i would never do that she what? know she knows i would i would never. always listen to instructions all right now we got to separate the way from the curds okay so you can you can use a strainer of some kind, and that's fine. But mm -hmm. what we're going to do first is bring that bowl on over so we don't mess it all up. I'll make a huge monkey. And you a are huge. going to get all these cheese curds. Here, let's put them this closer so they can maybe see a little bit. Get the curds out of there. Okay. And uh, let's see if the close will not be blown out. Yeah, it's still blown out. Okay, let's go back here. Sounds like her. See those nice big chunks? Here. Let me see if I can grab one and I'll hold it up to the, the main cam. Because they're nice, big chunks. This is going to be what becomes your mozzarella. Look at it. It's already oh. slippery and slinky and it's going to be beautiful. Okay. Now, while you're doing that, because this did take me a couple minutes, is you're trying to get most of the way off of it because that's really our next process. Okay. Is we're going to heat, we're going to get the way off... Okay, our daughter Hope is riding a donkey right outside the window. Um, it's almost worth showing, but... I don't want to mess all the cameras up. I know. She's, there goes Hope on her 
on a donkey. <laughs> so, yeah, so the more way you can get off of it at this point, the better, better. because we're that's what we're doing. We're going to heat it, okay, and we're going to get rid of the way. Then we're going to smoosh it up, get rid of the way, and then coming up, we're going to add our salt, stretch it, and form it. And believe it or not, that's done. Okay. Dribble, dribble. Okay, let's see. Old Glory Farm. Oh, that's down by Madison. Okay, there you go. Oh, I was, I had never heard of uh, Partyville, so she was saying where it was at. Everybody lives in Partyville. Right, right. That's why why wouldn't you? Exactly. Yeah, now they make, in cheese making stuff, they make slotted spoons, and they're okay, from, from what I understand, the videos I watched, but I honestly, a big, nice strainer would be the best. Mm -hmm. Have any of you guys made mozzarella cheese before? Because if you can see that we're doing okay, I'm wagering you think you can do it. <laughs> I think I have all the curds. Okay, at least the good part. Yeah, no, now, I think I got them, except for little tiny pieces. Now we need to try to get most of the way out of there. So okay. how do you want to do that? You want to use your hands? How do you want to do that? Okay, careful. Oops, as I'm spilling. A little all further over the in, baby. A little further in. That is looking scrum diddly umptious. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to go ahead and use your hands. So you might want to get your gloves on. Okay. They're right here. My hands are wet already, so it doesn't matter. But it's going to get hot, remember? Uh, yeah. When we put it in the microwave, then I'll put okay. my gloves on. So you're going to kind of start squishing through So those. just kind of... Bring it on Do up I here. need it? You kind of squish it. You're trying to get the whey out of it. You kind of oh, go through it. But I'm breaking up the curds. Yes. Okay. They're going to come back together once you put it over okay. here so they can see it. <clears throat> Move that. This looks oh, wrong. Boy. You see you're getting that way out of there. This looks wrong. It's going to be okay. Okay. Now, go ahead and strain the way again. There we go. See how much way is coming out of there? There you go. That that or that or get her done. Now um, you're gonna try and smoosh it again, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually heat it up. What what we're go our goal is ultimately to get the whey out and heat it to 135 degrees, and then we're gonna stretch it and mold it, and then it's done. We put the okay. salt in. So here okay. I'll pop it do in it, the microwave. You don't want me to pour it off again? I can make a shot. There we go. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, wipe my hands on the pants. That's normal. That's the man's apron. Man's apron. So what you got here so far, guys, if you can see it a little bit, I'm going to try it. Right there. Right there. So far, so good. Yep, get in there. So what you're going to do is you microwave it in 30 second blast. Increments? Yep. Okay. And then we're going to test the temperature while we continue to get the way out of it. So, now I'm gonna wash my hands and put some gloves too. Here you go. Because this gets hot. Now, if you've got hands made of steel <laughs> and 135 degrees don't bother you, well, that's fine. Right, right. But it does mean. Mom used to wash dishes in probably 150 degree water. I mean, it was Ridiculous. crazy. It was crazy. Rip your skin off. Yeah. Okay. All right, now you're going to do this. See, look how much more way is right there. Yeah. So I pour it off. Around. No, scoot no, it around. No, scoot it around. Okay. There you go. Now take your temperature. Take my temperature. <laughs> okay. And where are we at? <clears throat> 91, 95, 98. Come on, come on. 100. 100. Come on. Come on, baby. 102. Let's hit it again. Go ahead and okay. strain that way off. This would be less awkward if we weren't trying to show you on camera what's going on. Yeah. Well, and reaching across the stove. That's kind of challenging. Yeah. Well, oops, I put it in for 35. It'll be okay. It's okay. It'll be okay. Now, just a word. If you have animals... 
Don't get rid of this. They love the way. Chickens, pigs, they love it. Yep, it's good for them too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They were amazed by my hairstyle back in the day. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, it was the weirdest haircut I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. All right, five, four, three, two. Let's get the temperature. Because the magic number is the 135. Okay. Do I squish it? Right now, you can probably just drain it because there's still a good bunch of whey in there. Okay. Oh, don't dump it back. Okay. <laughs> that would be funny. No, not really. Okay, where are we at? We're at 71, 85. It's starting to steam, so that's a good sign. It was definitely warmer. 99. When, uh... Once it gets over like 110, they say you can put your get the rest of the way out and then and then and then salt it. And we're okay. gonna start mushing it in. Looks like one more oh, 30 four. second burst, maybe. Okay. You want me to squish it? Go ahead mm -hmm. and get some more whey out of it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you're gonna to start to try to kind of do like you do with bread. There you go. All right, let's get that way out of there. Oh, she's cheating now, holding it up. Yep. <laughs> but you gotta get it up to, sorry about the banging. You gotta get it up to temperature or else it won't the work. fat doesn't allow it to stretch right. Mm -hmm. Oh, tell them about, um, the milk, because our cow has got a very high milk fat count. Right. Uh, Jersey cows, they have uh, four and a half to five percent milk fat. Um, so if you go to the store and you just buy regular whole milk, you won't get as big of a yield of, of mozzarella cheese right. out of a gallon of milk as we will. Because um, we don't strain off the cream or anything. We, we leave it as it comes out of the cow. Um, so we... We had, we, out of our gallon of milk, we get almost a pound of cheese. It's, what, 15 and a half ounces yep, it's of cheese uh, for one gallon of milk. So it's a pretty good um, get the temperature on it. yield. There you go. I have a feeling we're close. We're close to yeah, adding steaming. salt. 102. Yep. 122. 24. What is it, 135. Yeah, 135, but I think we might be hotter on the side here. Yep, let's get that way off there and then add the cheese and it'll probably warm up. Add the time. cheese or the salt? Oh, yeah, add the salt. Okay, one more shot or give it a, just a, like you're dealing with dough. Yeah, look how that's nice and smooth and out. See how it's getting nice and glossy? All right, you can probably add the salt now. You want me to pour this way off? Yes, yes, please. A little bit's not going to hurt you because that's going to separate it. How much salt? Um, we we like it says one teaspoon. We like it a little saltier because this we use that pink Himalayan salt and it's not as salty as regular table salt. So a little more than what you know. We, it says one ta teaspoon. One tablespoon. No <laughs> teaspoon. I'll do one and a half. Yeah, because yeah. it's not as salty. Okay. Oh, Julie, Judy says it was a colossal failure. This is raw. This is raw cow. This is raw milk. Yep. This is raw milk. Um, but it's now, it, you know, it, we started out heating it to 90 degrees. So we didn't pasteurize this milk at all. Nope. Uh, the one milk that you cannot use for cheese making is ultra high pasteurized milk. It won't work. It won't work. All right, let's get the temp on that. And because we should be just about ready. Maybe one more blast in the microwave. One eighteen. Come on, come on, come on. One more blast. One more blast, baby. Okay. And then, all right, it's getting so smooth, guys. Mm -hmm. It's nice and silky. Yeah. Oops. All right. A mess. I'm gonna glove up just in case it gets a little too toasty for you. Okay. Because it does get warm. Yeah. So, all right. Any questions? It wasn't the milk. Oh, it wasn't the milk. Good. It was me. See, that's the problem that I have had. I have um, made raw, I've made mozzarella with raw milk. I've made it with store-bought milk. And I have not gotten it right. So, Nana, relax. That's our dog. 
Okay, that's it's probably Nana. a child. Probably. That's our na that's our dog Nana. She is a very large Saint Bernard. Nana. Um, on, Brutus, now. who Go is our St. Bernard puppy, who is not even six months old, is almost as tall as she is um, and weighs about half as much as her already. And he's not even six months old. So he's going to be bigger than her. Yeah, it turns out that uh, they decided to ride the donkey right next to Brutus, the puppy. Oh, fun that's fantastic. Nana, come here. Nana, come. Nana, come on. Go downstairs. Uh, so they ride. We were riding the donkey next to where Brutus is out on the front porch. He likes to be out on the front porch because he can oversee everything. Yeah. All right. Are we good? I don't know. I guess I should have taken it out of my yeah, head. Yeah, that's kind of assumed that. Didn't. Looks like we're ready. Okay. But no, get the way off there. Okay. Do I do I swish it first? Go ahead and yeah. Need it. Yep. Okay. Looks like we're good. Is it starting to get nice and stretchy? Yeah, it feels like it. It's, it's getting hot. warm. Go ahead and taste. Take the temperature, because the way is still gonna come off. Well, ninety-one. Come on, one hundred four. Can I get one twenty? It's really slow. What are you gonna get? One twenty-one. One twenty-two. I can see one hundred twenty-five. One twenty-one. Oh no, we may have another one. Twenty-five. Come on. Twenty-eight. 135? That's what it says. Oh my. It's gonna get toasty. One little more. It's stuck at 128. All right. Nope, 130. 130. All right, we have 135. Go ahead. You're ready. Right. So go ahead and I'll pull start. This off. Yep. Now you're gonna knead it like you do with your dough. Okay. And you're gonna pull it and you're gonna pick it up and stretch it and then make look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? Oh, sorry guys, I was on out on the right camera. <laughs> you can't see it there anyway. <laughs> We got to go to this it. camera. Yeah. Ouch. Look at that. It's really hot. You want me to get it, give it a go? No, it's okay. If I switch hands, it's fine. Okay, so now you can leave it in this right here, or we can transfer it. What would you like to do? No, I don't. I don't let's, go, let's transfer it into this bowl here. That way I can show the camera better. Oh. So, yep, that's it. You have made... Fresh Warm. mozzarella cheese. I guess it would be good, really good on a cold day. Oh my gracious, look at that stuff. <laughs> and I didn't even have to use these. No, nope. don't throw those away. Okay, how do I get them off without breaking them? <laughs> Just roll them up, it's fine. We'll go backwards. All right, so into the dish and we'll show you guys right here. I'm still trying to get the whey off. There's still whey and dripping. It, some of it will come out off, off of it later and that's really okay. Okay. But look at that. Now we're gonna chat a little bit. I'm gonna show you oh, this. Warm. I'm gonna come over here and show you. Let me see if I can get a good shot of that. See how smooth that is? Am I getting it, Mama? Yeah. It's nice and like just tight and warm. And this is ridiculous. Super nice and melty, creamy. We're gonna let that cool down just a little bit before. My we hands delve are red. In. Oh no. <laughs> That's all right. But there right. is our cheese. Yeah. So. Hey, cheese. You did it. Yay. High fives. I told you it wasn't that hard. <laughs> she gets impatient. I, I actually really do. I need some stuff that goes fast. When I make yogurt, it just, it seems to take hours. Because it does. Because it does. Because uh, you got to heat. I Well, when I make yogurt, I don't make it in one gallon. I make it in three and a half gallons. And so it takes a long time to heat that milk to the right temperature. So. Okay. So, do you want to take a bite, or what do you want to do? Yeah. You know, scissors might actually be good at this point, because they're... Oh, no. I, that's fine. You're going to get it. a little piece off there? Yeah. Oh, my gracious, people. This is... Go. It is... A, I'm coming over here, because um, it's just creamy. Look at this. Oh, there's still a little bit of whey in there. I think Look we're going to have to make more for yeah, our I'm pizza. still going. Look at that. In you go. Oh my gracious. Mm. Mm. Guys, that is so good. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fresh pizza tonight. Yeah, actually, mm -hmm. we've got the dough in the refrigerator. Oh, man. Um, and I'll make sauce here in a little bit. We need to make another batch of cheese because that's not enough. That's enough for my pizza. I don't know what y'all are going to do. You're not going to. <laughs> You're not going to visit the bathroom for a week oh if you gosh. eat all that cheese. Yeah, no kidding. It's crazy, but. It's 
And when, when it melts, it's super stringy. I've never seen a cheese that stringy before. Because oh. we, we made like a little test pizza. It, it was went like, this way. It, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was really a long string of, I mean, it was great. Look at this. Oh, well, yeah. Hold up. That's, well, broke. that one broke. It's it not broke. heated up. No. But you might want to just kind of roll that back in. Mm -hmm. But um, Boots and Bounty Homestead says, we've been talking about making some. So okay. glad you have shared this. Oh, good. And you know what? It's just easy. Mm -hmm. We were scared yeah. of it because you're afraid of the waste as you're learning. Mm -hmm. But the yeah. truth is, even if even if you messed it up, then you still can feed your animals with it. Right. That's true. If you have chickens or pigs um, or even dogs, you, of course, you can't give them all of this at once. Um, but uh, yeah, don't go, don't go to waste. Also, if you have a septic system, you can't put whey down your septic system. Don't do it. It messes with the bacteria that's in the in the system. So, yeah, that's now, I did re I did learn that look at not that. too long that's ago. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, another thing that I want to point out: if you have a farm or a homestead and you have access to your own milk, mm -hmm. we did the math on the rennet and the calcium um, uh, citric acid. Citric acid. Mm -hmm. And one pound of cheese for us, if you don't count the milk, mm -hmm. costs less than 20 cents. Write that right there. Now, I don't, I honestly know what the cost of milk is right now because we haven't bought it for a very we long time. We haven't bought milk in ages. What, um, this is cow's milk living a simple lifestyle. But the principle is the same for even sheep's milk if you wanted to make feta. Or goat's milk, you, if you wanted to you do a soft cheese, it's even easier. Well, you can probably make mozzarella with any type of milk. Um, you you know, know, you know, the actual true, like, okay, there's an actual organization and association of people who make the, in Italy, the, what are those, the pizzas, the ones that are... Um, Neapolitan? Well, uh, basil, fresh tomato. Margarita. Margarita pizzas. There, there's an association, and if you don't do it right, you can't call yourself that. There, no, you you lose your certification on making uh, fresh pizza. I want to eat. And more. what I was um, going to say, we'll do it so they can see it. Yeah. Um, but what I was going to say is that's actually buffalo milk. It's yeah, it's from water buffaloes. It's not cow's milk, right? It's it's not okay. So when we say buffalo milk, it's not from the bison that you see. It's water buffalo. Yeah, so it's a it huge has to difference. Be that or else mm -hmm. it doesn't doesn't qualify. It doesn't qualify. And the tomatoes have to be San Marzano tomatoes. Yeah, there's um, a big long mm -hmm. shtick. Mm -hmm. But mm. this stuff Man. is ridiculous. And so, what is a gallon of milk going for? Kurt says one gallon is three fifty per gallon. In California. Okay. Yeah, did I hear that right? One pound is 20 cents. If you have your own milk. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. because the rennet is cheap and so is the citric acid. Mm -hmm. Mom, you got to stop. No. You got to. So yummy. <laughs> she said, you don't want to eat a pound of cheese, mm. honey. You really no. don't. <laughs> but it's just, you know, the thing about it, it's so, so creamy. It is. You know, it's nothing like the stuff you buy at the yeah. store. No, no, not at all. You know, this the is. The flavor is more deep rich mm -hmm. um, and creamy. Yeah. And I know that sounds stereotypical, but that's really what it is. I bet it would be different even in the summer when the cows are on grass. They do. The milk mm -hmm. tastes different. Butter tastes way different. Um, and it's a different color. Uh, when your cows are on fresh grass, the color of butter is so, uh, it's almost orange. It's wow. great. Oh, thank you, Cross Christian Fellowship. That thank was very you kind so of much. you. So I don't know, you know, if you're saying, I'm seeing people here saying $3.99 a gallon, $5 a gallon, $3.49 a gallon. So add 25 cents to that. Mm -hmm. And now you have a pound of mozzarella yeah. cheese. Well, it depends on your milk fat. I got to be, it gotta be does, careful. It does. It does depend on your milk fat. Um, How much you know, you're going to get. Right. Like I told you before, our milk, um, we don't take off the cream unless I'm going to make butter. Um but the milk fat is very, very high. Yeah. So if you live in a state where you have access to raw milk mm -hmm. legally, you're going to get a lot of cheese. But if you don't, then you're going to get a lot less. Right. If it's an experiment from the store. Right. Judy can get fresh raw milk for $5 a gallon. That's, that's actually not bad. When we were buying it, what, 10 years ago? Yeah. Raw milk... It was almost $10 a gallon at well, that point. But it was, 
it was where we lived, it was illegal to actually buy raw milk. So what you had to do was a workaround. Mm -hmm. You had to have what's called a herd share, right. where you literally have an agreement with the farmer and you own part of those cows. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you're legally allowed to receive part of the milk. Right, but you still have to pay a monthly fee. Depending so on the farm. You, right. You Well, I, the way that a herd share worked when we did it is you you paid in 50 or or $100 to become a to become part owner in the herd. Yeah. Uh, and then you had a monthly fee of $35, $50, whatever it was. Um, and then for that $50, you got a gallon of milk per week yeah. and um, some cream or sour cream or... Um, some other, some other thing, like some other some other byproduct. Can't remember what it was. Yeah, he also did bees, but we helped him with that. Right, right. We yeah. We helped him with that. Right. So that's honestly it. That's mm -hmm. how you make mozzarella cheese. And if we weren't talking, I'm looking at the clock here. From the time we started till right now, it's 48 minutes. So I stand by the 30 minute mark. Mm -hmm. That if you had to do this from scratch, it, would, it looks like a big slug. It's coming for you. <laughs> A delicious, creamy slug. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat that slug. It's no, no, delightful. no. You're gonna have too much. <laughs> nope. You gotta save some room for pizza, baby. Oh, it's it's. We got plenty of time for that. We're uh, making we're making homemade pizza mm -hmm. tonight, and her the, crust is really great. The dough, the crust is really good. And the sauce. Mm -hmm. oh, we need a pizza oven, people. Yeah. That should be high on our priority list, mm -hmm. but affordable is not. Pizza it's ovens not. are so expensive, and we don't have the know-how to make it from scratch. I'm not a mason. No, no. But I can build you a computer. Right. I can make you a loaf of bread. I'm working <laughs> on how to do farmy things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. We got worms. You really shouldn't tell people that. It's called vermicomposting. <laughs> They're downstairs. Yeah. They're funny. So... Bulletproof Pastor, just in time for us to say, see you, Naira. Sayonara. <laughs> see you, Naira. See you later. You're funny. So I think that's <laughs> it. Unless anybody has a question, we're going to say goodbye. Let's see. Can you show us your pizza recipe? Is it in our cookbooks? No, it's not. But we did a, a live stream not too long ago with it. Maybe we so. should do one with this. Um, Hold on, I need to respond to Shelly Bryan. She's been considering a Dexter milk cow. I don't have much land, but want fresh milk and cheese. We've had one. We've had two Dexter cows, and they were awesome. Uh, they don't provide as much milk um, as a Jersey cow, which is great if you don't have a lot of land, um, because they don't eat as much either. Yep. So they don't, We when we lived in Ohio, we had one acre of land, but only a third of that was for our dairy cow, our dairy mm -hmm. cow and our goats. And we did supplement with hay, but the, for the majority, they were on fresh grass all summer long. Yep. So it was very affordable. Mm -hmm. Yep. That one, the only thing, okay, here's the truth. Every cow is like every person. Mm -hmm. They all have their own personalities. Yes. Some of them will allow you to milk them. They'll just stand there. You don't even need to tie them to a post. They'll stand in the middle of the field. Right. Others, you're going to be running to catch them. Yeah, yeah. Use if, food as bait. Right. We've had two different Dexter cows. One, she, she was, was great. <laughs> she, Well, one, she would just stand there, no problem. Um, and then the other one, I had to chase her down every time and catch her. Um, and then, but then once she was in the stanchion, she would stand there. She wouldn't kick nothing, but it was catching her was the problem. So every cow is different. You know, I have two Jersey cows, right? I'm sorry. We have two Jersey cows right now and they both have completely different personalities. Yes. Um, one cow will stand in the stanchion and not eat food while she's being milked. Um, and she will lift up her leg, you know, and try and kick me once in a while. Um, but then... And then her tail is completely still. Our yep. other cow has to eat in the stanchion. Otherwise, she's just stamping and kicking and just moving Snotty. all over. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And she deliberately tries to hit me with her tail. I know they can. Yeah. I've gotten poop tail in my eye many times. <clears throat> you know, Kit Kat is saying, try grilling a pizza. It's so delicious. You know what? Mm -hmm. If we had one of those egg ones, I would totally do that. You know, the mm -hmm. trick is this. 
to get a pizza to like that New York style where and that Italian style where you get the little bubbles that are, you know, just nice mm -hmm. and really brown, almost to the edge of too much. Mm -hmm. And it's just nice and thin mm -hmm. where it's got a crunch to it. But when you bite into it, it's still soft in the middle. Oh, you that's that's the trick. But a hot, hot oven mm -hmm. is what makes that happen. Mm -hmm. They say it's got to be 800 degrees or more. Yeah. I, I and that's why it's hard to do at we, home. We should probably go ask the ice cream shop in town if we can borrow his pizza oven. He's not using it right now. I think he is. Not right now. It's not he open is. for business yet. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, oh, I think pizza's pizza's gonna be good tonight. Yeah. I, I'm, gonna be good tonight. Yeah. We like I said, we do need to make more cheese. I think. All right. One more. It yeah. only takes 25 minutes, really, mm -hmm. or 20 minutes if we're not talking. Yeah. So. Yeah. Hope you guys like the video. Yep. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It honestly does help our family out. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll dog on it. I don't know. Grab a grab a recipe book. That yeah. helps too. Yeah. And there's some uh, beard bombs and healing hands and lip Links bombs down below. on on the website. So. All right. Hugs Check and kisses, out. everybody. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Let me go back. To the room.